Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Faraz Ahmad. So this video is very important if you are looking for MSRA. In this video, we will be discussing about what is MSRA, which specialty needs MSRA, what is exam pattern, when this exam happen in the United Kingdom or out of the United Kingdom, like how many times a year this exam happen and how to get booking of this exam, how to do the preparations of this exam and when and how the results are announced for this exam. So if you are looking for any of these questions, definitely you will get all the answers of your questions in this video. So first of all, let's discuss about what is MSRA. So MSRA is basically multi-speciality recruitment assessment exam as per the name this is multi-speciality exam and the important thing is do all the specialities in the United Kingdom need MSRA exam to get in? No. This answer is no. So if you want to go for example in the internal medicine training there is no MSRA exam there is no other exam for the internal medicine training you have to just go for the interview depending upon your portfolio and if you are good in the portfolio, if you have performed well in the interview, you will get induction in the general medicine training or the internal medicine training. But there are the some specialties that are highly demanded specialty are the specialty in which applicants are high in the number. So they have included the MSRA exam for those specialty. Basically, basically to scrutinize the candidates, they have put this exam for these specialties. So the specialty which need MSRA exam include first of all GP training, psychiatry, radiology, ophthalmology, OBS and gynae training, sexual and reproductive health training, emergency medicine training, anesthesia, neurosurgery and apart from this core surgical training. Recently they have also included the core surgical training as well. If you want to go in these training options definitely you have to clear the MSRA. So exam. the next question is related to the dates of the MSRA exam. So please keep in mind for all the training options including the general practice if you have to take for the MSRA exam, the exam happen in two rounds. So the round one is for all the training options and that round happen in the January each year. Like currently this exam is going on from the 4th of January to the 16th of January. So it's still ongoing. But if you want to go in the GP training, what will happen for the GP training, they take MSRA exam twice a year. For rest of the training, they take exam just once a year. So if you want to go in the GP training, you can take this exam in the January and second option, you can take this exam in the September each year as well. So the next question is related to what is pattern of the exam. So they are going to check your competencies. Either you are competent enough to get into the specialty training or not. Please keep in mind if you have been in the Pakistan and you have ever appeared in the part one of the FCPS over there, which is the initial exam to get into the specialty training. So that exam is totally different for the different specialty that for example, for the surgery, you have to go for the different exam for medicine, for ophthalmology, for ENT, you have to go different exam. But this is United kingdom they know you are not specialist you are just on the basic step so they are going to take same exam for all the candidates either you are going for the gp you are going for radiology you are going for psychiatry or the surgical training you have to go for same exam and the exam will be the same for all the candidates so exam pattern basically include they check your clinical skills and they check your ethics as well so the clinical questions are called as cps clinical problem solving questions and the ethics questions are called as the professional dilemma PD questions. So please keep in mind for the CPS questions, there will be 97 questions and you have to solve the 95, uh, 97 question in 75 minutes. Please keep in mind out of these 97 questions, 11 question will be pilot question. Pilot question means they are just assessing you. Those questions will not be marked and no one knows which questions are pilot question. So the thing is you have to answer all the 97 question in 75 minutes. So the second part of the question is professional dilemma question and there will be 50 questions from the professional dilemma part of the exam and out of these 50 questions eight questions will be again pilot questions no one knows which question is a pilot question and you have to answer those 50 questions in 95 minutes a lot of time for the pd question in the cpsa clinical problem solving question basically there will be two type of questions and both type will include half of the questions so in the first type of question that is called the emq extended matching question before the question seven to eight answers will be the given and below the question there will be the three questions and you have to read the question and you have to tick or you have to pick up the correct answer out of this list of the answers given above 
above the question so rest of the questions are very simple questions same as you have been doing in your professional exams like they are the mcq's question and you have to pick the best answer but there will be not three options there will be not four options not the five options there could be the seven to eight or the nine options for one question and you have to pick the correct answer out of these options for the pd paper professional dilemma paper there will be again two type of the questions and each type will be having half of the questions like 25 questions from one category 25 from the other category so first type of the questions are you have to pick five answers like the answer will be the given you can see on the screen and you have to you know categorize the, these answers on the basis of most appropriate answer to the least appropriate answers okay so the second type of the question is like an mcq statement will be the given above and out of the eight to nine option given below you have to tick on the three options which you think are appropriate for this answer these type of questions will be there in your msra exam so let's talk about the booking of the exam so before the booking of the exam let's talk about the oriel account so if you have an oriel account then you are able to go for all these steps which i have already mentioned so keep in mind there is already a video on my channel uh, you can see on either corner of this screen for the oriel account how you can create the Oriel account and how you have to book for the exam. So if you have Oriel account, you have already created the Oriel account, you apply from the Oriel account for the training, either for the GP training or rest of the training, you apply through the Oriel account. They review your application and what they do, they do the long listing. If you have long listed, then you will get an email. In the email, there will be the invitation to book for the exam and you have to book the exam from that email. In that email there will be the invitation and from that link given in the email you have to book for the exam okay so once you have booked for the exam you can book the exam either in the United Kingdom or out of the United Kingdom this is important you know you can book for the MSR exam from your own country as well but similar to the pleb one uh, exam you have to compete a lot for the seats because seats are very limited if you are out of the United Kingdom so let's talk about how you can prepare for this exam please see this screen as you can see over here they are going to assess you in 12 domains so this is your complete medicine which you have studied in your five year of the mbbs and they are going to assess you in just 97 questions so this is the reason there is no need to read any extended notes or the books for this exam as you have prepared for the pleb one exam either from the past medicine or from the plebable mcqs so you have to get the same material for your msra exam so there are a lot of materials ongoing people follow different type of material some people follow past medicine some people follow mcqs banker some people follow the e-medica so whatever you want all are good all are good for this exam you can pick any of these resources and that will be enough for your preparations so on the exam day you will go in the exam center they will check you and they will assess you before the exam and after checking your identity and everything you will go in the cubicle and this is completely a computer based exam first they will take your professional dilemma exam and after taking the professional dilemma exam in 95 minutes you will get a five minute break and after taking the five minute break, you have to take the CPS exam. And after this, you can come back. In the end, let's discuss about the results of this exam. Either you are going to get the results of this exam on the same day. The answer to this question is no. As I told you, this exam is going to happen. This exam is going to held for at least eight to 10 days. They're not going to give the results on the same day. So what will happen once the exam will be completed? then the results basically depend upon the overall performance of all the candidates who appeared in this exam there is no maximum mark there is no minimum mark for this exam the results basically depend upon the overall performance of the exam so once the exam is completed they will compare the performance of all the candidates and depending upon that they will give the results so once your result is there you get the score and your result will be divided into different bands you can see on the screen so you can see over here that your score is given the band 1, 2, 3 or 4 and you can see band 1 mean below 170 that is very poor level of the performance and band 4 mean 291 to 310 score that is very good performance. So depending upon your score, depending upon your results, you can get a training in your desired specialty or in your desired hospital or desired location. So guys, this was all about related to today's video. If you have any other questions, you can directly message me you can contact me on the instagram or you can ask in the comments box thank you very much for watching the video